Top 5 Things You Must Never Do To Your Toy Poodle What 5 things you would never do to your toy poodle? Several things are obvious. You would never drop, burn, strike, or starve your dog. Other activities are not as glaring, but with some thought, you would avoid them as well. They are based on the toy poodle's exceptional intelligence, small frame, and curly coat. There are five common things you must never do to your toy poodle. The three shortcomings that directly affect your toy poodle's health are a failure to provide adequate mental stimulation, proper coat care, and timely medical attention. Others relate to your dog's size. To keep your dog safe, it is important to establish guidelines for young children and to set boundaries for your pet. Number one, never allow your toy poodle to get bored. Because they are so smart, toy poodles easily become bored with their training and other parts of their lives. It is important to keep your poodle engaged. When you come up with a varied training plan and different daily activities, your dog remains interested and active well into her senior years. Or toy poodles may become depressed, which is detrimental to their health. They can also act out through obnoxious barking and other attention-seeking behaviors. Number two, never skip grooming your toy poodle. If your toy poodle has his full coat, you must brush it daily. With his tight curls, you cannot afford to skip days brushing him. Your dog's coat will become a matted mess. Mats beget skin infections, hot spots, and other ailments. If you decide to shave your toy poodle, you must be religious about grooming him every six to eight weeks. Number three, never allow young children or large dogs to play with your toy poodle unsupervised. Toy poodles are small and subject to injury. A careless act or wrong step can crush your dog, leading to broken bones or ruptured organs. Large dogs with well-developed predatory or herding instincts may treat a toy poodle like prey or a chew doll. One shaped by a dog such as a Malamute could cause catastrophic injuries for a toy poodle. Number 4. Never treat your toy poodle like an infant. Despite her size, you should not treat your toy poodle like an infant. Carrying your dog around continuously and pampering it usually equates to no training and no boundaries. Toy poodles easily become bosses of their households. You may then have a dog that refuses basic standards of good behavior. Such dogs are demanding, entitled, and antisocial. They may bite when things do not go their way. Moreover, they often struggle with obesity because they lack exercise and get whatever treats and other comforts they want. Dogs without established routines and expectations are generally unhappy as they are mentally and emotionally unfulfilled. Number 5. Never ignore signs of illness in your toy poodle. Toy poodles are susceptible to a host of serious health problems. Addison's disease affected dog does not produce enough steroids to deal with everyday stresses, diabetes, the inability of the pancreas to regulate blood sugar, pancreatitis, inflammation in the pancreas, repeated bouts are linked to the eventual development of diabetes. Mitral valve disease, mitral valve is between upper and lower heart chambers on the left side, often becomes leaky with age, making the heart less efficient. The toy poodle's size makes it more vulnerable to the detrimental effects of dehydration and toxins from a non-functioning digestive tract. Therefore, you should never eat more vomiting, symptoms of pain, or lethargy in your toy poodle, especially if these signs persist for more than a few hours. Do not ignore coughing that continues for more than a day. If you want to know more about toy poodle, visit fluffydogbreeds.com.